Are you hunting the biggest social media marketing trends of 2022? Perhaps you're chasing new ways to grow your online presence through social channels. This video is going to cut through the nonsense and deliver the know-how on what social media marketing is, creating a strategy you can instantly implement, current trends, and so much more. What's good guys, it's Cam here from Neighborhood where we help brands find, sell, and keep their people. So, what is social media marketing? Social media marketing is using social media channels to sell or promote a brand, product, or service. Yes, likes are great, yes, views are fun, but if you're not getting a lift or making sales using your social media, then it's not marketing. With social media marketing, brands can increase brand awareness, measure brand sentiment, advertise products and services to target audiences, build engaged communities, increase traffic to your site, attract potential employees or investors, track metrics and KPIs, and the list goes on and on and on. But what is a social media marketing strategy? A social media strategy is a plan that explains your goals for using social media and the tactics you will use to achieve them. You should also have a plan for how you'll use social media to market your business. This should include a list of all your social media accounts, as well as specific goals for each platform. These goals should be aligned with your larger digital marketing strategy, of course. You'll also want to define the roles and responsibilities of your team within this plan. Now, let's get into how to create your 2022 social media marketing strategy. It's important to note that this is a base plan that should be altered or catered to your specific business and industry. Step one, choose goals that align with your business objectives. Before you start using social media to market your business, you need to figure out what you want to achieve. This will help you measure how successful your efforts are and whether they are worth the time and money invested. Whether you subscribe to the SMART or otherwise known as SMART method of goal setting or another, you want to be as specific as possible at this part of the process. For example, instead of saying something like we want to post on social channels X number of times a day slash week, you might say by staying active on our accounts and posting X number of times a day or week, we will increase engagement with our audience and share more information about our products and services. This could lead to an increase in traffic and sales. Some social media metrics are easier to track than others, such as follow account and likes. But some of the more important numbers for brands typically involve things like engagement, conversions, and clicks to the site. Ultimately, it depends on your overall marketing strategy and the products or services your company sells. Some metrics you can track are audience size or followers, engagements like likes, clicks, shares, and views. You can also track reach, meaning how many people see your content, referral traffic to website, conversions or sales, leads generated, click-through rate, and website traffic from social media. There's a lot to choose from. You just need to decide on what's important to your overarching success. Step two, learn your audiences. Whether you have a social media following, it's crucial to learn about them. This information can help you create the right content and post it on the right platforms at the right time. One way to learn about your audience is by creating a buyer persona or buyer personas. A buyer persona is a document that helps marketers identify their most common buyers. Of course, there are always outliers, but you're trying to outline specifics around the majority of those that follow you. Buyer personas should typically list age, geographic location, average income, typical job title or industry, and interests. Lucky for you, Neighborhood has a buyer persona template you can grab for free. We'll include a link for this in the description below. Learning about your customers and their wants and needs, you'll know how to target and engage them on social media. To find this kind of information, social channels will show businesses this information in the analytics section. Everything from behaviors, age to psychographics, it's all there. Next is step three, find competitor pages. List out a few of your competitors and find their social media pages. It's essential to know what they're doing and if they're doing it well enough for you to get a few cheeky ideas from. This goes on to performing a competitive analysis. A competitive analysis will help you understand who your competition is and what they do well or not so well. This analysis helps you spot opportunities for yourself and gives you better understanding of how to run your own social media. For example, if you notice that they're posting videos and getting a lot of engagement, then maybe you wanna create video marketing strategy. Or if you notice they aren't getting engagement at all on their GIFs and images, then you can take a different approach in hopes of doing something better. It's also helpful to tell you which platforms work and which don't. If a competitor is doing well on LinkedIn, but not so well on Facebook, then maybe it doesn't make sense for you to spend much time on Facebook yourself. Step four, audit your social channels. Now it's time to take a look at your channels and ask what's working, what's not, who engages with your page? Is your target audience responding? And where can you improve the most? Use your audit to provide a clear picture and take stock of your social media presence. Step five, 
Find inspiration. It's important to be unique, but there's nothing wrong with mirroring your account after a business that's already doing really well. It's time to find inspiration, even if it's from another industry. A great way to find some inspo is taking a look at your favorite brands on social media. Who do you follow on social media? What makes you want to engage with and share their content? Think deeply about why they're doing so well and what you can borrow from their methods. Step six create a content calendar. This strategy is all about creating a plan. It's time to develop your content calendar. This should feature all your posts so that you can easily see what's coming up and copy it over to your social channels. Step seven, develop your content buckets. You know your audience and which platforms you plan on posting to. It's time to create your content buckets. These are topics or categories for you or your team to work with and consider when developing the actual content. Some content buckets could be do-it-yourself, how-to instructions, company information and awards, lifestyle, products and services, big announcements, seasonal or holiday, and awareness. There's no wrong answer. You're going to want to choose between four and six different ones to help you keep your calendar full. Step eight, track your results. You can't expect to get it perfect the first time. As you start to use your plan and see how it works, you may find that some strategies don't work as well as you would have thought they would while others are working way better than expected. Use this data you get to reevaluate your strategy regularly. You can also use this information to test different posts, social marketing campaigns, and strategies against each other. Constant testing allows you to understand what works and what doesn't so you can refine your social media marketing strategy in real time. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos delivered every week to your inbox. Now, let's touch on latest social media trends. Not all these will make sense for you and your brand, but it might be worth to try and incorporate some of these into your efforts. Firstly, live videos are currently where it's at. There's been an emphasis on video marketing, especially with the wave of TikTok, and it's clear that live videos on social media are part of the trend in 2022. Brands are exploring live videos frequently to connect with their customers. This allows for a more informal conversation with the customer. Cutting through the nonsense and humanizing marketing is becoming more important than ever. Next, stories matter. Perhaps it gives you heartburn to think about putting time and resources into a piece of content that's only going to be live on a site for 24 hours. But that's exactly what stories are and those stories are generating lots of engagement. This is because, once again, stories allow brands to be more personal and informal. Here, you can post polls, quizzes, backstage moments, rants, workplace tours, and more. Next, chatbots are becoming normal. If you have a need for customer service on your social channels, then consider investing in chatbots. These handy robot overlords can be pre-programmed to answer simple questions, help your customers find what they're looking for, and just be an overall neat addition to the team. Even better, you don't have to pay them an hourly salary, and they work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Reach out to Neighborhood if you're keen on implementing a savvy chatbot strategy to streamline your marketing and sales efforts. Following on from that, AR and VR technology is growing. Augmented reality, AR, and virtual reality, VR, are currently popular trends on social media. Brands are using these technologies to offer an exciting user experience. For example, many e-commerce companies have adapted to AR-powered shopping, which allows users to try on products before they even purchase them. I did this with my new glasses. Social platforms like Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook allow people to add filters to their photos and videos as an example. Keep this in mind if you're keen to introduce a new product or service to the market. Another trend, whether you or I like it or not, is that influencer marketing is real and it's not going anywhere. Becoming progressively more popular, the way brands and influencers work together is going to change, of course, over time. Currently, brands work with influencers to create a series of social media posts. Specifically, bigger brands are now working with micro-influencers and niche bloggers to make their marketing more inclusive and transparent. This means that the brands will be careful in choosing the right influencers, and they'll also crack down on imposters who have fake followers. Using influencers can help you develop long-form content, how-to videos, demos, and photo stories. Next, local targeting gets you in front of your audience. More businesses are using local targeting to connect with their target customers. They are geotagging their social media posts and stories to show where they're located, helping local brands become even more discoverable. Additionally, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram promotions allow businesses to target audiences from a specific area by knowing their IP addresses. If you're a small business, it's important to reach out to your local people first. It all adds to the bigger picture of helping you build brand awareness. Once you have a strong presence in the local community, you can then target people from further away. Next, stop worrying about likes. 
Recently, Instagram actually turned off the ability to see the likes because they became worried that their users are only doing things for recognition. It'll be interesting to see if other platforms follow suit and what the windfall is if they do. After that, user-generated content is king. What's better than producing your own content? Getting your audience to do it for you. User-generated content is any type of content that users create on social media. Many brands have started using this content as social proof to show the quality of their products or services. Many brands use user-generated content as part of their branded content as it's got two benefits. The first is that it saves the brand money on marketing. And the second is that it makes customers feel valued and brings them to the forefront. UGC is real and honest because brands can't control what users say or post. It's the most trustworthy source of information about a brand or business. Expect brands to encourage their customers to create user-generated content to boost their engagement rate even more. Next is growth of social media communities. This year, social media communities are growing quickly. Brands are adding customers to groups on social media so that they can closely interact with them. This is a great way to get feedback and suggestions from customers, carry out discussions, resolve grievances, and share personalized content that customers will love. And I'm sure with no surprise, TikTok will keep dancing. TikTok has rapidly grown from a viral dance platform to becoming a great social media platform for businesses. Business owners can use it to create short, creative videos that engage their target audience and create brand awareness. These videos can also be used to pitch services quickly and effectively. It can also be used to provide product demos and how-to videos. The next trend to expect is that social commerce will continue to grow. Expected to hit $80 billion in 2025, many brands are already using social media platforms like Instagram, and Facebook to sell their products. That said, social media is no longer going to be just for big names. In 2022, more retail businesses will use Instagram storefronts, shoppable posts, and more to boost sales and increase their profit margins. If you wanna use social media to sell things this year, you need to make sure your design is easy for people to use. And finally, paid advertising continues to be a must have. Organic reach for businesses has all but fallen off the face of the earth. Nowadays, if you wanna be seen, you have to pay the piper. And the piper is the social media platform's business ad section. In order to be successful in social media marketing in 2022, you need to build and develop your plan to withstand the changes and evolution that is sure to come. By starting now, you can help your future self be prepared for anything that comes your way and be ready to use social media marketing as a gateway to business growth. If you need a hand with anything we've mentioned, reach out to Neighbourhood, we're keen to help. That's all from me, but for now, happy marketing.